so this is a slightly late out way of explaining it um, but this is the way that I did it in class and I think it works really well here we're going to be looking at um, acid and base reactions, what's reduced and how you can look at a reaction and know what's reduced. So the first thing that is good to remember is that when you react an acid in a brush you're going to get um, water and a salt out of it. So those are the two things um, that we're looking at to have in our reaction. Now whenever we have an acid um, whenever you have anything really, um, you're going to want to try and break it down into the two different ions that you have. So here we have our acid, always going to have hydrogen ion in our acid, and hydroxide, always going to have um, um, hydroxide ion in our hydroxide. So we can take those two ions, put them together, the hydrogen ion from here and the hydroxide ion from here, and we have H and our H and our mixed water. So now we can look at the two things that we have left over. We have a chlorine ion here and we have a potassium ion here. Pop those together and they're going to make potassium chloride. I'll do you a whole other video on how to name things. This is just how to work out and what the products are. So pop those to one side. Moving on to sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide here. Here again in our... Um, acid we have a hydrogen ion and in our base we have a hydroxide ion so we pop those together and we have our water and then we can just look at what we've got left over so the two things we have left over are our sulfate ion here and our sodium ion here pop those together and we're going to get sodium sulfate moving on to nitric acid and silver hydroxide, again our hydrogen ion and our hydroxide ion here, pop those together and we are going to get water. If we take what we have left over, we have the nitrate ion and the silver ion, we are going to get a silver nitrate. All of these ions are going to be given to you on the formula sheet, so don't worry about learning them all. Here we have sulfuric acid and barium hydroxide, so we have our hydrogen ion and our hydroxide ion pop those two together and they are going to make water and then the bits that we have left over are sulfate and our um, barium we pop those together and we get barium sulfate last one we have hydrobromic acid not a very common one at GCSE um, but the principles are still the same so we have our hydrogen ion and our hydroxide ion pop those two together and we get water and then we have our bromate ion and our um, calcium ion pop those together and we get sodium bromide <laughs>